Hello everyone. I'm pulling some power conductors from a new sub panel to a junction box. But there are three black wires that need to be identified as black, red, and white. I have three black conductors and a green conductor going out to the sub panel from this box. They're not hooked up on this end yet. There's no power on them obviously. How will I identify which one is which? I'll show you how I ring them out. So obviously the green ground wire is easily identifiable. And I've already marked this black wire with white tape, so that's going to be my neutral. And I've marked this black wire with red tape, so that's going to be my red hot. And I'm going to put a clip lead on the ground bus, which is green. And over here on the neutral bus, which is white. So now they're joined together up here. So if I go down to the other end and put an ohmmeter on the green, I'll be able to see which one of these, which one of the three black wires has continuity with it. It's important to note that these four wires are disconnected on the other end. They haven't been connected up yet. So this is safe to do. There's no power on anything here. I have my ohm meter set up here with, with one of the probes clipped to the green ground wire. And then all I need to do is touch the end of these wires. Oh, look at that. That one's ringing. And that one isn't. So this conductor is reading zero ohms and making the uh, beeping sound. This is my white wire. So I'll mark it with a piece of white tape. So I know this red wire goes on to the circuit breaker here, which is on this bus, which is isolated from this bus. So the bus that the red wire will be feeding is this one. So I'm going to move the jumper from green directly to this bus. And now I can go ring out the other black wire, see which one should be red. There's just one more thing I need to do here, and that's turn this breaker on. That provides continuity from the red wire through the breaker to the bus bar. So now I'll test one of these black wires. Oh, it's reading zero ohms and you can hear the beeping on the ohm meter. So this is my red wire. So I'll mark it red. And that means by default, since I know I have a red and a white and the green, obviously, the other black wire is my black hot wire. So before I trim these to length, I moved my color-coded tape markings on them up here so I won't lose track. I'm cutting them all to match the length of the green wire, which I cut first. There's my white wire. And this will be my red. Please take a moment to like and subscribe.
So in this case, there's two separate cables and one of them comes from over there and the other one goes to the next drop for the next outlet right there. But I didn't mark them as to which is which, so I'm going to ring them out. I stripped the ends of the conductors. I need three hands. So I stripped the ends of both conductors, white and black, and I'm just going to put a clip lead on it from white to black. So those are shorted together. Now I'll come over here. And I need to know which one of these two cables is the one I'm looking at over there. So now I'm going to check to see if this is the cable I shorted out on the other end. I have the meter set on the diode check, which gives you a beep when you have continuity. And of course I know the circuits are all dead, there's no power on anything. But you can see there I have like no resistance. Let me put it on the ohm scale. It's reading 0.8 ohms. And across the across the leads, it's 0.2 ohms. So I have about half an ohm, 0.6 ohms from here to there on the cable. But I know this is the cable over there. So now I'm going to mark it over there. Because I put a piece of black tape on this, so I'll put a piece of black tape on the other end. So now I know this is the cable that rang out on the other end with the meter. I added two 20 amp receptacle branch circuits to the new sub panel. All the receptacles get their power through an AFCI, GFCI protected receptacle at the beginning of the circuits. The circuit you saw in the garage includes six new outlets. Thanks to eBay, they're all 20 amp rated spec Hubble brand receptacles. Thank you for watching. Please take a moment to like and subscribe.